Hi, I'm Dave with Crown Bees. In this short little video, I'm going to tell you why the honeybee isn't a great pollinator and native bees are. Might surprise you. First of all, I'm going to go through a little bit of science and then I've got a little story over here that's going to um, help you understand um, a very peculiar situation and it's going to reinforce what I was saying. Okay, first, some science. I want you to appreciate that the bees use the sun's uh, polarized UV. Uh, take the sun, go two hours ago, draw a circle around that sun, and that polarized element through the atmosphere helps the bee know exactly where she's at. With the mason bee, she knows exactly where her house is, or with the honeybees, will help. Same thing, but they'll also learn where they're going. So let's take a hive, for example. Okay. Now, the honeybee is really sophisticated. I think it's the most sophisticated um, bee out there. They've developed a thing called a waggle dance. So you've got a thousand eggs laid a day, and each one of those eggs needs about a pea-sized bit of pollen, a lot of pollen. So they've learned how to, in their two-mile radius, find every grain of pollen and carry it back to the hive. Okay, so for your, um, I don't know where any pollen is, some little bee is in the middle here, and she does a little figure eight. It's called a waggle dance. And the angle of the waggle dance kind of matches the polarized light, and the distance of the, of the dance is how far to go out there. So a bee is going to leave her hive, head out to that specific spot, find her pollen, and then back again. And she's going to keep on gathering pollen from that source until there's no pollen left. So she's done her job, and her other sisters are out there doing the same thing, getting that pollen from there to and from the hive. Now, the native bees, like a leaf cutter or a mason bee, are a lot different. They're sloppier. They know where they started from the beginning of their hole, and as they tour out there, they're just bouncing in a 30-minute circuit from tree to tree to tree to tree, till finally they've got enough pollen and back stuck in their, um, in their hairs, and they're back to their hole and dropping that off. So with the honeybee, sticky, hardly anything's fallen off, and the uh, native bee dry on the bottom of the abdomen and that pollen's fallen off everywhere. Okay, so this is how they gather pollen, but let's look at a little story. A couple years ago, I'm out at Cashmere. It's a um, uh, central Washington pear orchard. I'm on a dirt road here and along comes Farber Brown in a pickup, like they should. Asked what, what I was doing with my friend there. He said, well, how do you pollinate these fields? He said, this north 10 acres, the Anjos, um, pollinated the south 10 acres, I think it was Bartlett, something like that. Well, immediately I knew, if I put my mason bees out here, there's no way in, there's no way in heck that this mason bee in her 100 foot radius is gonna get all the way down here and back. We knew mason bees would fail. So where do you put your honeybee hives? Well, he puts his honeybee hives along the dirt roads here. And he said the bees just kinda of pollinate both sides and it works fine. Okay, but I thought about it a couple days later and to appreciate that that honeybee is actually going from her hive out to that little tree that she's owning and then back to the hive. She keeps on going back and forth to that one tree and there's nothing pulling her to the south side. So there's really, she's not getting grains of pollen from the north side to the south side. She's bringing it back to the hive in the middle. So then how is this thing getting pollinated north to south, south to north? The only way this can be occurring is that the bees of the north bring their pollen back to that hive, okay, and somehow, as she's scraping this pollen off, a southern-headed bee, probably a sticky um, nectar bee, is taking that pollen with her to the south, and a southern bee dropping off has a northern nectar bee heading to the north. So really, the pollen exchange isn't in the field, it's in the hive. And so this did get pollinated, but you have to appreciate there's, well, every hive has 35 to 45,000 bees, and they're not that good at bringing the pollen from, you know, dry from flower to flower. It's all headed to and from the hive. Now, has this been researched? No, I've spoken with a couple of researchers. They talked about it. They understood the situation. There's been no research about it. But it certainly just drives home the, the point that your native bees, as they're out there belly flopping into flowers and dropping that pollen off everywhere, are superior pollinators. Now, they don't provide honey, which is an awesome thing. But I just want you to appreciate that there is a difference with how they pollinate, and one is a better pollinator than the other. Thanks for listening.